good to see you again i call myself mr us patil working as assistant professor at sharad institute of technology college of engineering at draw chalkanji which is at kolapur district maharashtra we'll see today the manual part programming <clears throat> the path programming consists of a sequence of instructions to be performed on numerical control or computerized numerical control machines there are two methods of path programming and these are manual path programming and computer aided path program mean so here the program path programming fundamentals in order to prepare path programming the programmer decides the order of the machining operations required to produce a component the choice of the machine tool and cutting tool depends upon the operations each line of the program is numbered in sequence details of the operations are stated and the x y and z coordinates are also given the total steps involved in the development of the path programming are we have shown in this figure so this is what a uh, prepare the process plan or we can say <coughs> the process planning machine tool selection selection or uh, drive axis selection cutting tool selection machining parameter planning machine parameter planning and uh, tool path tool path planning and job and tool setup planings this is what some fundamentals part programming given though that is very very important and testing the uh, part program and document is the part program these are the some fundamental part programming of development here if you see this is a component drawing identify machine tool then it would be getting from machine tool database and next select the cutting tool exactly which we want from machine tool database next uh, determine the machine parameters from the machine tool database even and start preparing job and tool setup plans and after that write a part program and after that test this program it test is okay with the machine control in it it sends to machine control unit and machine can done with the process and the job comes for inspection for that part or inspection of that job if it is no again it goes to the determine machine program again reef programming again it starts from here to here again if it is no again goes like this again s yes, if it is come like this so if it is s then again document set of program if it is no again it would be a documentation or saved program so can we can manipulate of with requirement so now we'll see uh, one by one uh, the part programming fundamentals that step by step so next is this is process planning we'll see process planning uh, the use of uh, numerical control or cnc machine tools necessitates uh, a detailed process planning of steps involved in the machining of the component the programmer makes a detailed study of the path drawing and prepares the process plan the process plan consists of the sequence of operations machine tool used jigs and features required tool types and size uh, feed rate and spindle speeds coolant requirements and all and this is one a table at a process plan for the component if it is operation number 10 the end mill tap of face 10 by 10 mm and a shell end mill will be a diameter of 50 mm like this the process plan of the component 
here the process the position machine positional machine tool is one of which sorry <coughs> now machine tool selection there is very very important part the machine tool may be selected according to the type of work and the operations to be performed the machine tools are broadly grouped into one is positional paraxial and continuous path there are three group into machine tool selection that first one is that position that is point to point positional for example drill machine a boring machine a punching press spot welding welder and pipe bending machines etc so positional machine tool is one in which the slides are controlled in order to reach a particular fixed coordinate position where machining is to takes place no machining occurs until the slide movement ceases the movement path is not critical isn't it but the care must be taken during programming to ensure that the tool does not collide with the workpiece or a projection such as a clamp when it is moving from one position to the next the slight displacement uh, from one position to the next position can be st stated by referring either a, a fixed datum either this kind of fixed datum we can say this kind of absolute system and uh, either uh, the present position of the slide or incremental uh, system so <coughs> here the system in which all positional dimensions are stated with reference to the common datum point reference to the common datum line or point common datum point are termed as absolute uh, system and if system in which each position dimensions are stated with reference to a previous dimension or previous position are termed as incremental system now in <coughs> para excel machine tools uh, the cutting there are for example that is lathe milling machine and machining centers in a para excel machine tools the cutting process occurs while the machine slides are moving and the movement path must follow a controlled route the machine control unit must ensure that the transient behavior in slide displacement does not change in a slide hunting or oscillating about its desired position if surface are to be machined at an angle to the axis the machine control unit that is mcu the machine control in it must be capable of displacing the slides simultaneously and at suitable rates of feed in order to produce a cutter path at the desired angle as we see here is a angle in a continuous path machine tool one in which the slide motion or continuous path for you can say for example uh, lathes milling machines and routers grinding machines etc and here in continuous path machine tool one in which the slide motion is more than one axis is controlled continuously and simultaneously the system enables uh, profiles into two dimensional or three dimensional to be counter machined examples of these are milling uh, machines as we here <coughs> noted right so next one is we'll see that is drive axis selection all the cnc machine tools rely on the axis system for defining the axis motion 
the number of axes in the machine tools are specified under the heading p c or l letters if if you see 2p means positional control into two axes that is a drilling machine for example uh, controlled that is a drilling machine controlled in x axis and y axis but with the spindle axis z manually controlled like that the 2l line control of two axis for positioning for position and velocity that is a milling machine requires with a line milling facilities in two axes that is x and y 2p comma l is positional control in two axis and line control of third axis and 3l means line control of three axis for position and velocity that is a milling machines equipped with the linear feed rate facilities in three axis that is x y z axis similarly if you see 2c sorry it uh, we have seen this next is 3l 4l and 3c if you see 3c or sorry uh, you can see that 2c is continuous path control in two axes yeah, right that is 2c is continuous path control in two axes that is the lathe or milling machines and 2cl uh, is continuous path uh, control in two axes and line control for velocity and position in the third axis that is a milling machine and that is continuous path programming that is 3c that is continuous path control in these axes that is x y z 4c l the continuous path control in four axis and line control along the one axis that is milling machine having a continuous path control in x axis y axis and in two rotary displacement of the table and linear control of the spindle in the z axis isn't it if i see is the continuous path control in phi axis that is x y and z and rota rotations of the blades about x and z axis and 6c is continuous path control in six axis that is x y and z axis rotation of the table about x z axis and rotary displacement of the spindle about some axis other than the z axis this is what some drive axis of selection the axis system of all the cnc machines tool would generally have a fixed datum called machino zero datum point machino zero datum point when the workpiece is clamped on the machine table the workpiece datum and the machine datum will not normally coincide in order to relate uh, the side displacement and called for it in the path programming with the position of the workpiece on the machine table uh, a floating zero facility is provided uh, by this means an operation can arbitrarily designated as zero any point on each axis within the range of the slide displacement isn't it so next is we are seeing that cutting tool selection the cutting tool selection this selection of the cutting tool is very vital functions because many cuttings are feasible for a given operation it is more appropriate to choose the right tool for the job based on the economy of manufacturing the machine control unit must be able to compensate for the variations in cutter size if accurate components are to be produced the compensation for the varia variation of the cutter diameter is manually registered on the machine console delays console dials uh, by operator uh, provision is made at the programming stage for the mcu to modify mcu means it mm, 
machine control in it to modify the cutter path by amount registered on the console. This is called tool diameter compensation. At the times, at times it is required to provide tool length compensation. In this case, the compensation is easier to apply because easier to apply because the machine surface is suitable at the end of the cutter. Consequently, when the cutter is either too long or too short, the cutter path can be modified by dialing the error and its direction that is plus or minus on the console. And here machining parameter planning uh, for a given cutting tool and the operating selection, the appropriate process parameters have to be selected to ensure that each cutting tool achieves the maximum metal removal rate in the roughing operations and the maximum machine surface coverage is in the finishing operations this can be done by increasing cutting speed feed rate and depth of cut as well it is also necessary to minimize the floor to floor time by limiting the time needed for the non cutting activities by the by reducing uh, this activity can be reducing that um, machine downtime during the initial setup period and machine idle time during the setting of each individual component and last is the machine idle time during the period required for changing from one cutting tool to the next the machine tool must be designed with a sufficient power for driving the spindle and feed mechanism and the spindle speeds are suitable for the use of cutting tools employing commented carbide or other hard tool materials if you see the tool path planning in order to machine profile with a sufficient degree of accuracy a very large number of coordinates need to be determined and fed into the MCU control unit in milling a straight line parallel to the an axis it is only necessary to specify the coordinates of the beginning and the end point of the line and the feed rate the cutter will take up a position at the first time or first point the slide will be displaced along its a slide way and the cutter will machine a straight line parallel to the slides axis until the end point of the line is reached in a continuous path tool the coordinates of the series cons consecutive points on the counter are supplied MCU the slide moves from point to point in such a way that the cutter generators or cutter generates a smooth curve this tool path between point may be in the form of a series of straight lines curves from the circular arc or curves from the parabolic arc the capacity of perform these moments in a straight line or curve carefully computed to fit the overall pattern of the curve is known as interpolation right the during machining uh, the profile of the profile uh, the cutter must follow a path which takes into account the diameter of the cutter and the movement of the slides must be coordinated in order to produce the current profile between the change points next is that a uh, jig and tool setup planning and the planning of job uh, and tool setting is very important uh, if the component and its uh, uh, locating fixtures are small in the relative to size of the machine table two or more components can be set uh, set up by side by side on the surface of the table isn't it if the machine table can be 
accommodate only one component the machine tool are designed with the twin tables one table is used for component being machined and while other table is clear to spindle and the machining area and on on this table operator sets the unmachined components as well the number of tools needed for completing the operation depends upon the complexity of the job isn't it the use of tool the use of tools with the indexing tool tips or throw arrow tips also see speeds up tool setting uh, for simple drilling operation six or eight tools may be adequate so this is what uh, uh, we can say uh, this is some job and tool setup planning we have to be look after and there are uh, even automatic tool changers with the um, um, magazines of drum chain and egg box type work on the principle that mag <coughs> mag <coughs> magazines provides storage of wide selection of tools some form of uh, mechanism is employed to select the correct tool and transfer it to the machine spindle where it is automatically clamped or held in a position any tool which already may be in the spindle is removed and replaced in the storage magazine okay and next is the part programming uh, the part programming is responsible for planning the sequence of machining steps to be performed by cnc and to document in a special format there are again uh, two ways uh, to program for cnc there are uh, manual part programming and computer programming as we know here and the next is uh, testing the part program testing the part programming once a part program is prepared it should be tested before it is loaded on the mcu for the production of component isn't it a trial run can be carried out with or without the tool or workpiece to enable visualization of movements uh, taking place and of any collision possible between the tool and the workpiece and the clamping device as well during the trial runs the program is run block by block this is vital for eliminating the possibilities of collisions during machines or machining with the workpiece and tool in the position dry run are made during these trial runs and if any mistake are noticed the part program is corrected the acid test of the program involves uh, trying it on the machine tool to make the part a foam or plastic may be used for this try out after these after this one component is made and checked based on this run speed and feed are modified on the basis of its quality and component the graphical simulation is also possible on the component possible on the computer this simulation shows the workpiece and the tool the motion of the cutting tool and the progressive material removal the simulations can be carried out at the fast speed without much loss of time isn't it so next very important that is last point that is documentation and the path programming is is an essential aspects of cnc manufacturing the documentation involves involves uh, the path drawing process planning sheet and tool cards setting cards and programming sheets these are all very important documentation of the path programming and these are all are the uh, program fundamental parts that we have seen uh, used for in manual part programming so this is what overall a part programming manual part programming 
fundamentals right so we'll see in the next video for the next topic thank you thank you one and all